Right. This committee holds important jurisdiction over matters involving indigenous peoples, and I am here to uh, speak against S-1275 in its current form. So our indigenous peoples are the American Indians, Alaska Natives, and Native Hawaiians. These are our original peoples. As members of this committee, you are aware of the experiences and challenges of Native peoples, including the history of decimation and prolonged subjugation by the federal government. This history is one of the reasons that the federal government has enacted laws intended to help our indigenous peoples and recognize our government's trust responsibilities to them. While I am not a member of this committee, I am here because the matters you are discussing today are very important for the Native Hawaiian community. I'm here to share my serious concerns over the decision to exclude Native Hawaiian housing programs in S-1275, the Bringing Useful Initiatives for Indian Land Development Act, also known as the BUILD Act. As this committee's legislative vehicle to reauthorize the Native American Housing Assistance and Self-Determination Act, also known as NAHASDA, the BUILD Act is an opportunity to support all Native communities. The BUILD Act, however, strips out Title VIII, which includes the Native Hawaiian Housing Block Grant and 184A Native Hawaiian Home Loan Guarantee Programs. By omitting Native Hawaiian housing programs, the BUILD Act strikes a blow not only to the 37,000 Native Hawaiians who would or could directly benefit from their inclusion, but also it strikes a blow to the over 500,000 Native Hawaiians in our country. This is about much more than just stripping out Native Hawaiian housing programs from a bill. At a time when we see us against them perspectives rising in our country, we cannot allow divide and conquer tactics to undermine collaborative efforts to bring people together. Sadly, intended or not, the BUILD Act is an example of dividing Native peoples. This bill threatens strong alliances and partnerships Native communities have forged over decades. I understand that suggestions have been made to Native tribes that supporting Native Hawaiian programs may jeopardize funding for their own programs. I strongly oppose those suggestions and I believe that dividing Native communities is frankly unconscionable. The history of our government's treatment of Native peoples is not a proud one. For Native Hawaiians, this includes the illegal overthrow of the Hawaiian monarchy in 1893. Today, Native Hawaiians, like other Native people across the country, continue to face high levels of poverty, lower educational attainment, and lack of affordable housing. For those who do not recognize Native Hawaiians as an indigenous people or oppose Native Hawaiian programs, I would ask that you learn more about their history and experience. Today's hearing would have been an excellent opportunity for members of this committee to learn more about Native Hawaiians, their history, and how federal housing programs have made a real difference in their lives. Unfortunately, no Native Hawaiians or Native Hawaiian organizations were invited to testify on the BUILD Act, but they are here. They're sitting in the audience, they're watching, and they're listening. Many of you on the committee are longtime advocates for indigenous peoples and you're aware of their history and why Congress enacted programs that promote better health, quality education, and access to housing for their communities. Programs that provide opportunities for growth and sustained strength. Without these programs, the progress that's been made in their communities would have been harder and taken longer to achieve. That's why reauthorization of NAHASDA, including Native Hawaiian housing programs, is so important. All of our Native people, American Indians, Alaska Natives, and Native Hawaiians should be treated with equal respect. And that certainly extends to supporting programs that benefit all our Native peoples and communities. For these reasons, I ask this committee to restore reauthorization for Native Hawaiian housing programs in Nahasta. I ask you to do the right thing and welcome the opportunity to work with you to find a path forward. I'd also like to submit a longer statement for the record on behalf of the Hawaii Congressional Delegation, signed by Senators Schatz and myself, and Representatives Hanabusa and Gabbard in opposition to the BUILD Act in its current form. And Mr. Chairman, I do thank you for your openness in going forward so that our Native peoples can be treated with the respect that they deserve. Mahalo nui loa. Thank you.